Okay, so at, di at different levels of consciousness, like also things become, um, you know, I'm having to use languaging, which isn't the best way necessarily to, to do things. At, um, there's the idea within the ego of causality. This creates a that. Or there's, a, there's, um, there's causal factors that happen within the world. Uh, that create things, or even that this ca causality c comes out of the thinking. So, when w let, let's put it this way, you could say without without being uh, dualistic, when there's when there's a lot of identification with thoughts, one could say that one is uh, you know the there is the experiencing of the ego. And that experiencing of ego is related to the field of consciousness. So when there's a lot of thought identification, like in, in, in my story, there was a lot of uh, food addiction, there was a lot of unmanageability, there was a lot of self-destructive self behavior. There was the great experiencing at that time of self as being an individual, making choices in the world and making a lot of bad choices and a lot of seemingly addictive fun choices as well. As spiritual work seemed to happen, then this idea of a um, separated me making choices in the world and being the orchestrator of choices starts to dissolve. And it seemed that life became much more happier and much more manageable. Now, um, what's the, what's the, you see, when someone asks the question why, it's coming from ego. And what happens when the, e the ego which asks the question why dissolves, then starts to come out of the infinite field. And how the infinite field uh, manifests is how the infinite field manifests. So one doesn't know how the infinite field will manifest until the idea of separation is released uh, from the level of the individual. So what I'm saying is, so often I get asked a lot of questions like, why bother doing spiritual work and what's the point of doing spiritual work? Well, that which is asking the question is the individual or is the separated entity. So. Until one dissolves, so it's, uh, dissolves the idea of being in separation, then it's the universe's job to see how the unfolding occurs. Did that answer the question? Yeah, so, yeah, I think so. So it's like if I like as as you let like okay. So I was I was in addiction. I was in food addiction. And there, when I say the word I, that means I, the relationship of how I experienced myself was separated. There seems to be a me that makes choices in the world. I'm not in, in a flow state or a oneness field. So this very, very strong identity that there is an ind the individual is real. I am a me making choices uh, and I have, and, and my choices are, uh, so if I, then start to think from that individual state and say, well, what's the point of letting go? Because I might end up just being um, a homeless person in Tibet or something. So that's still the individual me. So until I dissolve the idea of the individual me uh, through, for example, the observer, so there is no such thing as an individual, then whatever expresses forth, the, the, there isn't any individual to question whatever manifests, and whatever manifests is whatever manifests, however the life unfolds. One person may sit on a park bench for, for two years, another person may make great art pieces of art, another person, you know, so that's the infinite field expressing itself, but there's no individual there sort of making a commentary on how the infinite field, because the idea of a sep of an individual questioning how the infinite unfolds does no longer exist mm -hmm. there. Um, also, as one is doing spiritual work, 
what's happening is gradually the idea of a, a separated individual is gradually uh, reducing. Uh, so there tends to be greater trust and greater faith and greater intuitiveness in these higher fields. And the idea of a heavy separate me is starting to dissolve. So as that dissolving process comes, it might seem like the individual is deciding to write a book or do things, but now it's a mix of the infinite field and this illusory idea of a separated person making the decision to do those actions as well.